With a complete redesign in store for the 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class, the entry luxury car segment is in for a shakeup. The C-Class has long served as the entry point to the Mercedes-Benz lineup, but new additions to the brand in recent years such as the A-Class sedan have allowed the C-Class to move upmarket and better battle rivals such as the Audi A4, BMW 3 Series, and Genesis G70. The all-new 2022 model will continue to be built on a rear-drive platform, will be powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, and will offer all-wheel drive as an option. The cabin is where we see the most modernization, as the C-Class inherits styling elements and technology from the newly redesigned 2021 S-Class sedan. The C-Class rides on a modified version of the Mercedes MRA2 platform, modular rear architecture, which also underpins the new S-Class. Mercedes refers to a dynamically designed chassis with a new four-link front axle and a space-link rear axle. An adaptive suspension and a sport suspension are available at an option, as is rear axle steering with a 2.5-degree steering angle for the first time. The C-Class comes with LED headlights as standard. As an optional extra, though, there is the digital light from the new S-Class, with a resolution of 2.6 million pixels. It is also capable of projecting auxiliary markings or warning symbols onto the road. The 2022 C-Class will continue to be powered by a 255 HP turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, but this time around it's enhanced by a 48-volt hybrid system that can temporarily provide up to 20 extra horsepower. All-wheel drive remains an option with rear-wheel drive being the standard setup, a 9-speed automatic is the only gearbox offered. We haven't had a chance to test the 2022 C-Class at our test track, but Mercedes-Benz estimates that it will hit 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds. We believe that number is fairly conservative, since the previous generation C-Class managed a 5.4-second result. The wheelbase is an inch longer, and much of that has gone into improving rear legroom. Overall length increases by 2.6 inches, and width by 0.4 inch. One measurement shrinks, however, the roofline is 0.4 inch lower. You might be thinking to yourself, great analysis, Mr. Wagner, but that's truly the way it is. The focus of the new C-Class is primarily on ride comfort, which means the car's tuning is surprisingly soft and cushy. The most dramatic change for the C-Class comes in the form of a new high-tech cabin. All models come with a digital gauge display, touch-sensitive controls, and a host of amenities. The new model sports a steering wheel that looks similar to that of the redesigned S-Class sedans, and Mercedes offers a generous list of standard luxury features such as heated front seats with memory settings, a sunroof, open pore wood trim, and aluminum accents. Overall, the 2022 C-Class is about 2.5 inches longer than the outgoing model and its wheelbase has been stretched by an inch. Mercedes-Benz says that results in more rear seat legroom, but we won't know how noticeable the difference is real life until we get a chance to test drive the new model. With the new steering wheels are a show, especially in the AMG line. Hop in for the first time and all you can think is, what a feast for the eyes. This is by far the best in class. Period. But then you look a little closer and realize they're quite the sly foxes at Daimler. Unfortunately, there are quite a few cheaper materials throughout. In the door shelves, on the side of the center console, and on the lower part of the dashboard, the plastic is much thinner than before. Disappointing. Even though there are some cheap materials, my overall impression of the interior is that it's still crazy cool. A large, 12.3-inch vertically-oriented infotainment display similar to the one in the redesigned S-Class sedan sweeps up from the center console and toward a trio of round air vents on the upper dashboard. 
The touchscreen is tilted slightly toward the driver for easier use while driving and runs the most up-to-date version of Mercedes's MBUX infotainment system. Complete with the voice-activated digital assistant, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and online access via Wi-Fi hotspot. All models also come with an 11.9-inch digital gauge display and a fingerprint sensor to authenticate the driver's unique profile for memory settings. A head-up display, a wireless smartphone charging pad, an ambient lighting system, and a Burmester surround sound stereo system are all optional extras. The space situation is somewhat less acceptable, at least I didn't notice anything of the promised optimization in the rear. The Legroom is rather mediocre, however, and it doesn't look any better than in the 3 Series or A4. On the other hand, there is good news for all fans of hybrids and flat trunk floors. The dreadful step in the luggage compartment is now a thing of the past in the PHEVs. In the station wagon, for example, this increases the length of the luggage compartment by 2.5 inches and the height by 6.0 inches. In total, the luggage compartment can hold 12.7 to 48.6 cubic feet. The seats in all models are comfortable and supportive, and riders in the front have plenty of room. Rear seat space in the sedan is adequate for average-sized adults, unless the front seat occupants slide their seats far back. The coupe and convertible models have cramped second rows, as well as a roomier second row and a lower starting price than the C-Class. The BMW looks great inside, but the Mercedes has one of the nicest interiors in the class. Mercedes equips the C-Class with a host of standard driver assistance features but unfortunately the car's coolest tech, which includes an adaptive cruise control system that utilizes navigation data to adjust the vehicle's speed for upcoming curves and roundabouts, is still optional. For more information about the C-Class's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, an insurance institute for highway safety IIHS websites. Key safety features are likely to include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, available lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class is expected to be launching at around $45,000 for the base trim. As for the pricing goes, the 2022 BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 sedan will be falling under the $40,000 to $42,000 price bracket. They might be cheaper but they bring no generational upgrades like the new C-Class. Compared to the rest of the class, the C-Class sedan has an average amount of cargo space. The coupe has 10.5 cubic feet, and the convertible has 8.8 .8 cubic feet. The new sedan's wheelbase is 1.0 inch longer than its predecessors, while the body is 2.5 inches longer, 0.4 inch wider, and has an 0.4 inch shorter height than before. We think the new model has a more athletic stance. Cargo space is unchanged, but rear headroom and legroom have increased by approximately 0.5 inch and 0.8 inch respectively. The cargo capacity is the same at 17.9 cubic feet and that will be decent for carrying a fewer luggage downtown. Although rivals such as BMW, Genesis, and Volvo offer three years of complementary maintenance, Mercedes-Benz omits that benefit from its standard warranty offerings. Otherwise, all new Benzes come with an industry standard plan that covers most things for up to four years or 50,000 miles. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance. 